you enjoy the first lesson. The first project that we are going to work on is the YouTube Summarizer Chatbot. Now this project is broken down into two parts. In the first part, we'll understand how to build the YouTube summarization functionality using LLMs and uh, Langchain and other providers. In the second part of this project, we're going to learn how to connect this core functionality with WhatsApp such that any user who adds a YouTube video URL in their WhatsApp chatbot will get the summary right there within the chat interface. So let's start off by understanding how to build a YouTube summarizer using an LLM. Now, please understand that LLM is going to be the key component that we will be using across all the projects in this course. So here I have imported warnings and I have uh, chosen to ignore the warnings. So there are no distractions and I can just, you know, seamlessly run my code here. I've installed a bunch of libraries. So python.env to load all the environment variables and capture them uh, when required. Uh, we are going to install Langchain, Langchain Community, Langchain Together. All of these libraries are already listed. And if you will run this notebook on your system, you will be able to install. So you'll simply have to run this cell and it'll install all the required packages for you. Now we are going to set up our large language model that we will be using. You all must have heard of proprietary models uh, provided by OpenAI or Anthropic. We are going to be using an open source model, which is hosted on this platform, which is called Together AI. Now they offer best open source models to work with, and we don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure and the syntax and the format that they have is similar to what OpenAI also offers. Why Together AI? Because it's going to give you free $5 worth of credit. So you can try things out uh, without adding any sort of credit card or any other details. So follow the instructions that are mentioned in the setup document and you will get $5 worth of credit, which you will be able to use in building all these projects. Let's quickly look at how to set up this large language model. Together AI has integrations with many other libraries. Now they have integrated with Langchain. So they have Langchain together. This module contains this class chat together. So this is the class that will set up our chat based language model. The load.env, this particular function basically loads all the environment variables within the system for us where our API key is stored. So this API key that you'll get from together AI, I've already added it in my .env file within the same project directory. So you provide the API key using os.getenv method. Then the temperature in language models, temperature controls randomness in output. So a value of 0.0, .0 typically means that the model will produce more deterministic and focused responses without any sort of entropy or you know random responses. And the model that we're using for this project is Llama 3.1 8 billion instruct turbo. So all of these chat models are listed over here. Uh, which model string you have to use. These are all provided in the documentation of Together AI. So this is the main website. And if you go to docs, you will open up this particular page. You will check out all the chat models that they offer. You can play around with different models from here. Now that our LLM is ready, let's quickly head over to understand how to build this application. In this case, the user is going to provide the YouTube video URL. From this URL, the next step is going to be download the audio. So you'll have to get the transcript of the video. So download the audio, get the transcript, store it in a format such that you can work with that text format. Once this part is ready, then you'll pass this transcript to the large language model. You will give this large language model some instructions, which you are going to call a prompt. This LLM will further give you the summary as per the instructions or the prompt that you have provided. Now, here you see that this step over here is going to provide the data that we will be passing on to the LLM for processing. Now, this data source could be of different types. 
And that's why we need one single unified interface to load data from various sources. And that interface is called document loaders. Now Langchain offers different document loaders. They provide a unified interface to load data from various sources into a standardized document format, which can further be passed on to other functions and processing methods. So you can check out all the different types of loaders that they offer from here. So they have one single page on document loaders where you'll find public, proprietary, structured, unstructured, all sorts of document loaders. The document loader that we need for our project is the YouTube transcripts document loader. So you can see that I need to import this YouTube loader from Langchain. For the YouTube transcript data loader, you'll have to ensure that you have YouTube transcript API and PyTube already installed in your system. Once this is done, now we are going to import YouTube loader. So this is offered by Langchain community dot document loaders. So there are a bunch of document loaders that the community keeps adding onto the Langchain library, which all of us can use. So here I've picked one video URL, one sample YouTube video, and we are going to use the from YouTube URL method from this YouTube loader that we have imported here. Pass on the video URL. Do I need other video information? False, you can add true if you need other information. Use the load method to extract the data. And when you run this, here you have your transcript from that particular video. So the first element contains the transcript itself. So in this loader.load, which is now captured within our data variable, it's a list. The first element is the transcript itself, within which if you access the page content attribute, that contains your entire transcript. Now that we have our transcript, we can pass it on to our LLM. Now to pass it on to our LLM, we can use a dynamic method or a static method. So let's look at the static method first. Here I've defined the system, the AI assistant system message, how the system is supposed to, you know, process this information. So added instructions that how to summarize the video transcript that we are going to provide. And the human message is basically just the transcript itself. And finally, we use the LLM.invoke method and pass our messages or our prompts to the LLM for further processing. So let's quickly run this. Now this should summarize our YouTube video transcript. And here you can see content. First of all, we have the heading summary, which is provided in markdown format. So this is in bold. And then video discusses, this is the complete summary. Great. So this is the static method, but we need a more functional, a more dynamic method where I can pass on different variables, placeholders within the prompt itself. For that, we'll explore prompt template. So a prompt template is a structured prompt with placeholders for variables. So this ensures that the prompt adheres to a specific format. Let's look at the prompt template in Langchain. These, as you can see, powerful tool that helps in creating dynamic prompts. The prompt template has two main components. One is the template string, which is the main instructions itself, and then the input variable. So here I can directly pass the YouTube video transcript as an input variable. We already know that the transcript is contained within the page content attribute of the first element within our data. Now here I have imported the prompt template from langchain.prompts and LLM chain, which I'm going to talk about in just a bit. In order to define our structured, more dynamic prompt, we'll use the prompt template class. And here I'm going to add all the parameters. So input variables, this is going to be a list of variable. In our case, we have only one single variable, one single placeholder that we want to add. If there are more variables that you want to pass on to the instructions, you can provide it as comma separated and then the name of the variable over here. So input variables, only one in our case, and then the template is going to be a multi-line doc string. Here also, I've kept the same instructions, but this time I've added the video transcript using placeholders with curly braces. So when I am going to use this summarizer template, I'm going to pass on my variable 
as well. Let's quickly run this to get our prompt ready. So this will generate a structured prompt for us. Finally, I have two main components. One is the LLM and this structured prompt. This prompt needs to be passed on to our LLM. Now LangChain offers something called as LLM chain. Now this is a higher level abstraction that is built on top of our base language model to add additional functionality. So this is designed to handle more complex interactions by chaining together multiple components or steps. So in this example over here, I'll have LLM chain. I'll pass on my LLM and my structured prompt, which is called the summarizer prompt from the top. And once my chain is ready, this time I'm going to invoke my chain and pass on the transcript in this format. So this is a dictionary. The key is going to be the name of the variable, the input variable that you have picked. And then the value is the transcript itself, which is stored within the page content attribute. You could load it into a different variable called transcript and then pass it on here as well. Run this. The summary is going to get stored within the summary variable and you can capture it by accessing the text. This key is going to give you the complete summary. Now this is in markdown format. So using this ipython dot display uh, and importing the markdown function from here, we are going to be able to display the markdown content in a more structured manner within our Jupyter notebook itself. So here you go, the summary, five most interesting or important points from the video. Now we have built the core functionality of our YouTube summarizer. In the next lesson, we are going to connect this core functionality with our WhatsApp chatbot. So let's head over to the next. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. In the course, we further learn how to serve this functionality on WhatsApp. Let's add a YouTube video URL here. So I'll copy this link from above, paste it here. Let's see what happens. There you go. We have the summary and five key takeaways from this YouTube video. I can now summarize any YouTube video, get the main insights from it just by sending the URL to this WhatsApp chatbot. And this was just the first cool and fun project where we kick things off, although this is also very valuable. In the second project, things get a little bit more advanced. You learn how to handle different types of customer queries. So you learn about router chains, how to set up different types of prompts and how to trigger each one of them. Finally, we'll test it with different queries. Let's run it. What is the current status of flight AA123? So if you invoke this, you can see entering new multi-prompt chain. You can see that they have pegged the flight status as the specialized chain, which will respond to the user here. This is the input that we have passed. What is the current status? This is the input text. I'd be happy to help you with this. So this is the response that we got from our specialized chain. With the third project, you build a retrieval augmented generation pipeline, a rag powered chatbot that can answer user queries based on what is present in the proprietary documents. If I ask a specific question, what is the cancellation policy rules? So in the event of such flight cancellation or delay beyond three hours, Alliance Air shall. So let's see if this information is also present in the document. Customers can be transferred to the next available beyond three hours. So you can see that it has captured the information. The retrieval has worked really well. So if you found this useful, you must definitely check out the course. I have priced it affordably, but if you still have issues do write to me at harshit at the rate viplane.com. I'll see what I can do with that. Let's head over to the next course, the next video. I am here to help you all learn how to build with AI. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll then keep learning and keep building with AI.